Dale Myers with Vision Advance. Today we're going to talk about having a growth mindset. And at its core, what this simply means is that you have the state of mind that says that you are constantly improving yourself. If you're at the top, you're trying to get higher. You're trying to keep your position. If you're at the middle or way down at the bottom, you have the state of mind that says, I am where I am because of decisions that I made, and now I'm going to make better decisions, and I will give myself more skills so that I can move myself up the ladder. So part of this becomes dealing with the reality of what I just stated. There's, there's some bad things that happen to us in this, in this world. Trust me, I know. I, I've, I've dealt with it. But for the most part, we are where we are because of decisions that we have made. Sometimes other people have pushed us down that road. Sometimes other people have literally tried to step on our throat, perhaps. Tried to, you know, got you fired from a job or did whatever it could have been. Said bad things about you so that you couldn't get the next opportunity. So these people do exist in the world, and I'm not saying that they don't. But having a growth mindset says that this is where I am, but this is not where I will stay. I will go and get the skills that I need, get the knowledge that, that I need. I will ask the question, hmm, where would I like to be in the next three to five years? And based on the answers, I will go and get the skills to go do so. In addition, I will ask the question, whose help will I need along the way? And I will come up with a plan for getting those kind of people within my sphere so that I can be of service to them and hopefully they will serve me. This is a growth mindset. It's about giving to the universe and getting back. It is about skilling up, not being complacent. So if you can accept that you've made some bad decisions and that you are the only one that can change your life. If you can accept that reality, that yes, bad things have happened, but you are the only one that can change it, then now it's time to go. So then the only question becomes, how do I do it? What skills do I need? So this is all based on where you're trying to go to. If you're an employee for someone, go and ask your immediate manager or someone a little higher up and say, hey, this is where I would like to go. What are the one to two skills that I really need to develop in order to get to the next level? And then start working incessantly on acquiring those skills. If that means going back to college, fine. But please understand, I'm in no way saying that that's, that should be the answer because the school of YouTube and Google is real. There's so much you can learn. Like, I'm giving value. There's a lot of other people out there that can help you get the skills that you want. Uh, but college is certainly an option. The bottom line is do what you have to do to get that skill and work towards mastery. Work on one at a time. Don't say, I got to work on these three things. Work on one at a time. And keep working on it, working on it. Well, how will you know when you've mastered it? Well, when people start coming to you, say, oh, wow, I noticed that... I Man, you, you're, you're, you're very productive. You're all on top of this time management thing. Okay, good. You've got that skill mastered. Now you can move on to the next one. Or if they're coming to you saying, wow, I've seen your, your closing rate is going up. You're leading. You're one of the leaders in the office now. Okay, I've mastered that skill. Move on to the next one. But identify the key skills that you need and go. This is really all life is. Now, I know some of you are still saying, well, that's easy for you to say, uh, you know, you work for yourself and or uh, you're not at the place I'm working at. They don't want to pay me any money. Hold up. Is there anyone at your place of employment making more money than you? Are there some people making double what you make? Are there some people making 10 times as what you're making? So it's not that they aren't willing to pay. It's that you haven't impressed upon them or you don't have the skills right now for people to pay you that way. Listen, it's not, I know that's tough to hear. And again, I'm not saying that you aren't working for a bad organization because that thing is real. I've, I've been there before. But your 
rate of pay is directly related to the value that you bring to the organization. That's your business. That's working for someone else. Your level of pay correlates to the value that you bring. If you want more money, simply go and ask, how can I bring more value to the organization? What can I do that would be that would make me more valuable to you? Ask, get the answers and go get the skill. It's that simple. Is it easy? No, but it is simple. So this is the growth mindset. I'm just encouraging you to be open to reading books, doing what you're doing now, watching videos, listening to uh, podcasts, audio stuff. And by the way, sometime within the next 30 days or so, we're going to start having our own podcast too. Um, so that I'll let you guys know when that happens. But just accept that I can change my circumstance. It's on me. No one else is going to do it. It would be great if my spouse supports me. It would be great if my friend supports me, whomever. But it is 100% on me to do it. And with that being stated, I go. I identify the skills. And I, I, I have my clear goals. We, can, we can't get away from goals here. This, this is about goals again. I have my clearly identified goals and my skills associated. And I go get it. Listen, um, I wish I could, there was something that I could say to you. There was some magic wand. No, actually, no, I don't wish that. Because if I waved the magic wand and I gave it to you, you wouldn't value it. And this is not so much about you getting more money. It's more about who you need to become in order to um, provide more value to the world. The greatest benefit, the money is, is fairly important, but the biggest benefit is who you must become what kind of person must you become in order to run a million dollar operation with people that love coming to work every day what kind of person inspires these people to want to get up leave their loved ones and not go to another company but stay with you what kind of a person do you need to become to build that kind of business what kind of a person do you need to become to become the leader at your current organization or that next thing that's on the horizon for you it's about you becoming a better person. So having said that, I love to hear some examples of things that you've done in the past or that you intend to do to develop your growth mindset or what's the one key skill that you're working on right now that shows that, hey, I have that mindset. If you watch this video to the end, um, in the comments below, give me a uh, hashtag mindset. Let me know because that, this is the thing, man. If you do this, you can do anything and there's nothing that can stop you. Nothing. It might take you some years. It probably will. But there's absolutely nothing that can stop you with the right mindset, discipline, and work ethic. My name is Dale Myers with Vision Advance. We'll see you guys the next time. Y'all take care.